The ruling Military Council has ordered a probe into toppled President Alpha Conde, the country's first democratically elected leader for treason. The move follows ongoing investigations into alleged killings, torture, kidnapping and rape. Conde was ousted in a September 2021 coup after more than a decade in power and has been living in exile in Turkey. A letter sent to the public prosecutor of the capital Conakry by Justice Minister Alfonso Charles Wright said, You are ordered to initiate legal proceedings for alleged acts of treason, criminal conspiracy and complicity in the illicit possession of arms and ammunition. In 2010, Conde became the first democratically elected president of the former French colony after decades of authoritarian governments. His decision to run for a third term triggered protests which were violently repressed. After the 2021 coup, military leader Colonel Mahmoudi Dumboya promised to hand the reins of government to elected civilians by January 2026. The Republic of Congo say 37 youths were killed and a number injured in a stampede overnight during an army recruitment drive in a stadium in Brazzaville, the country's capital. Last week, the army in the Central African nation, also known as Congo Brazzaville, announced it was recruiting 1,500 people aged between 18 and 25. Prime Minister Anatoly Kolene Makoso said a crisis unit has been set up under his authority. Would-be recruits had been directed to go to the uh, Michel de Ornano Stadium in the heart of Brazzaville. Local residents told the French news agency AFP that many people were still in the stadium on Monday night when the stampede began. They said some people had tried to force their way through gates, with many being trampled in the scramble. AFP says details of the event remain hazy, and it has not been able to independently verify them. Fifteen people, mostly civilians, were killed in simultaneous attacks by reporter Islamic, reported Islamic militants over the weekend in eastern Burkina Faso. Security and local sources tell the French news agency AFP that three army auxiliaries were among those killed Saturday in Diapaga, the main town in the eastern Tapao province. Condia Pierre Yonli, a spokesman for a regional civil society organization, confirmed the information. He told the AFP that schools, markets and public services were suspended in the region today in honor of the victims. A security source said the military was carrying out a retal- retal- retaliatory strikes. Fierce fighting this weekend pitted Boko Haram fighters against another jihadist group affiliated with the Islamic State in the Lake Chad region, anti-jihadist militiamen said on Monday, adding that more than 60 people were feared dead. The fighting took place on Friday and Saturday when Islamic State in West Africa fighters ambushed a fleet of Boko Haram boats on the islet of Kaduna Olua in Lake Chad, which straddles Nigeria, Niger, Cameroon, and Chad, sources said. The fighting began at around 4 p.m. 15.00 GMT and continued until Saturday morning, nine Boko Haram boats and all the fighters on them were sunk. Ibrahim Riman, a leader of anti-jihadist militia in the region, said. In addition to the fighters, several dozen hostages kidnapped two weeks earlier were present, were present on these boats. At least 60 people died at the very least. If you count the fighters and their dozens of hostages, said Mr. Liman. However, no bodies have yet been found, according to local sources, and no confirmation of this death toll was available from the local authorities on Monday. Two weeks earlier, Boko Haram fighters had left their camp in the Difa region of Niger for the island of Dolon Baga on the Nigerian shore of Lake Chad, 
terrorizing the local population by rooting and kidnapping. Salo al Zikar, a fisherman from the village of Bagar, said they kidnapped several dozen of people, including fishermen and at least 80 Fulani women, according to Mr. Al Zikar and Lobo Sani, also a fisherman. The jihadists beheaded one of the fishermen and gave his head to other fishermen to take to a military contingent in Cameroon to threaten them with an attack, according to these sources. They were intercepted by ISWAP troops, who then hunted down their rivals and attacked the Boko Haram fighters and their hostages. In February and March, the two functions of Boko Haram and ISWAP clashes for control of the islands in Lake Chad. According to fishermen and local anti-jihadist militiamen, both functions may lost many men in the fighting. The jihadist conflict has killed more than 40,000 people in northeast Nigeria and displaced more than 2 million since 2009. Open the door, one thing certain, I'll always be yeah. your